like Tyler, it's your boy, Tyler. Okay. I see an icon, a showstopper. But they're not gonna believe me because I'm just a Julia. So I tell them find a wife and a daughter. All right, child, it's your boy, Trey, man. Yes, we are putting Travis Scott's discography into a tier list today. I'm super excited. Hold up. <laughs> Bless you. Thank you. But, um, yes, Travis Scott had all the Travis Scott's projects into a tier list. I just did it. <laughs> We'll be putting all of Travis Scott's projects into a tier list. We have Al Faro, Days Before Rodeo, Rodeo, Birds in the Trap, Jack Boys. I haven't listened to Jack Boys, so I don't know where I'm going to rank that. Uh, Honcho Jack, Jack Honcho, Astro World, and Utopia. I have said Travis Scott has one of the best discographies in rap history. Like, his. Discography is near flawless. If I'm being honest, let me know if you agree with that down below. I believe Travis Scott's discography is super underrated. Like, this dude has no misses in his discography. Like, no misses at all for Travis Scott in his discography. And that is facts. Like, that is pure facts. Um, So, when looking at this, man, we got S tier, A, B, C, D, of course, being the lowest. And I don't think maybe one album touches C, maybe one project touches C, just because it was early in his career. But like other than that, nothing goes below probably B Ray. Like every project, you're getting quality. So um, first up, we're gonna go in order, of course. First up, we got Al Farrow. When I listen to this, I'm like, wow, you see so much influence from rappers like Kanye you got um you even see influence from Cuddy like just Trav was like so phenomenal on this the you could see all the potential from him on here man he worked with a few producers you know but he mostly also did it so Al Faro is the project I'm saying I think it's only C just because you you see the vision of what he's going for on here. And he later achieves that in later in his career. So I really want to put Al Faro in C. You could possibly slide it in B. I don't know, but I definitely think Al Faro belongs in C right now. Not Trav's, like, it's not bad. It's not bad by a long shot, but it's also not amazing or good. Like, it's not amazing or great. It's good. But I still think C is perfect for it. But next up, we have... Days Before Rodeo, the first Travis Scott project I've ever listened to. Days Before Rodeo is phenomenal. You got some classic Travis Scott tracks on here. If y'all want me to, I'll pull up the track list. Um, Days Before Rodeo. I'll pull up the track list for y'all just to see it. Um, bro, Days Before Rodeo is phenomenal. Like y'all can see it right here. We got we got Mama Sita. Mamacita. My favorite song over here was Zombies in um, Basement Freestyle. But you got Drugs, You Should Try It. Like, man, Don't Play featuring Big Sean, The 1975, Skyfall. Like, so many really good songs on here. And it's honestly perfect. Like, 12 great songs. Like, Days Before Rodeo goes in A. Like, I'm not even going to lie. Days Before Rodeo goes in A. It's so amazing. It's so good. Like one of Trav's best projects. Low-key top three. Low-key top three. Trav, you need to get this project on streaming so people can listen to how amazing it is. Um, So I want to put Days Before Rodeo in A. Next up, we got Rodeo. I'm going to just put it in S because, you know, we're not going to, we're not going to, you know, we ain't even going to play with Trav like Rodeo, not a like one of the best albums ever created. So um, Rodeo is Trav's debut album. And it was everything everyone needed. The intro, Pornography is Fire. Oh My This Side featuring Quavo. Nine, nine, 90210 featuring Casey Hill is one of the best songs I've ever heard. Pray for Love with The Weeknd. One of the best songs I've ever heard. Like, you got so many great songs out here. Nightcrawler, Piss on Your Grave. Like, Trav got in his bag. You got Apple Pie. 
Like, you got so many phenomenal tracks on Rodeo. The production is out of this world. You got Trav doing all types of flows and rapping at a good level. You know, Trav is not the best lyricist ever, but he has those albums. Like, like you just feel his music, I would say. I'm going to... This is not a stretch or a cap. Like, when you say Kanye, like, who has the most classic rap albums in rap history? Kanye West, right? Is Kanye West an elite lyricist? Is Kanye West an elite lyricist? Let me know down below. He is not. I'm going to just tell you right now. He is not, but he has some of the best albums. He has the most classic rap albums ever. He's some of the best albums in rap history, right? That's what I'm saying about Trav's discography. This dude has a perfect or flawless discography. Like, one of the best ever in rap history. Somebody called me crazy. I'm like, no. He's not an elite lyricist, but he has amazing and perfect projects. And Rodeo is one of those amazing projects, man. Like, shout out Trav for putting this together, bro. Like, you know, I wasn't even a Travis Scott fan like a year and a half ago. It's crazy. It's really crazy. Really crazy. But, um, yeah, we got to put that in S tier. Next up, we got Birds in a Trap Sing McKnight. Travis Scott's second studio album. Yeah, second studio album. And when I listen to this, I'm just like, this is what Al Faro was meant to be. You got like a track like SDP interlude reminds me so much of um, Al Faro and just the sounds he was going for on there. You get a track like the Ants feature and Andre 3K. Man, you got way back. Oh my God. Beebs in the Trap. Goosebumps, of course. Sweet, sweet. Like, you got so many great tracks, man. Wonderful feature in The Weeknd. Like, Trav and The Weeknd need to make a collab album. Those two do not miss. And that is facts, facts, and facts. So, for Birds in the Trap, I was thinking, but I'm like, where am I going to really put this? Like, Birds in the Trap can go in A or B. But my question is, how close is Birds in the Trap to, to Days Before Rodeo? Sorry, y'all, I was shaking. Uh, how close is Birds in the Trap to Days Before Rodeo? That is a phenomenal question. I don't know. Both of these projects are amazing. And I feel like Birds in the Trap is underrated. I think this is a top tier album. And I, for that reason, I'm going to put Birds in the Trap in A. I'm going to put Birds in the Trap in A. Just because it's f phenomenal, bro. Near flawless. Like, for real, bro. Like, people don't understand. Trav has some amazing albums. His discography is loaded. Like, loaded, bro. Loaded. But um, next up, we got Jack Boys. I have not heard Jack Boys. But I've heard a few tracks off of it. I'm actually reacting to that after this video, reacting to Jack Boys. But I've heard a few. So I heard enough songs off of here to where I will put this in B tier just off the bat. But once I give it a full listen through for the first time, I may or may not comment on this video and be like, nah, it's A or S tier. We will find out. But I'll put it in B right now. You know, you got features on there from Lil Baby, Pop Smoke, Young Thug. Like, man, you know, Don Tolliver, Shaq West. Like a lot of a lot of good features on there, man. But I haven't gave it a full, full listen all the way through. So that's my fault, y'all. I'm really sorry. But I will put it in B tier just because. Um Honcho Jack Jack Honcho will also go in B tier. This is a great collab project from them, man. Like Quavo and Trav literally are like one of the good duos in rap that are underrated. These two made a flawless collab album. Every track is a bopper, like absolute bopper, man. And I really enjoyed it and liked it so much, man. Shout out these two for putting together a underrated collab project. Like it's so good, but people don't really realize that. I feel like, but yeah, we're gonna put that in B tier. I'm telling y'all, nothing is going under B and B or A for real. But next up, we got Trav's biggest album of his career, man. We got Astro Row. I love Astro Row so much. You got so many amazing tracks on here, man. Like, front to back, this may be Trap's best project, honestly. Front to back, just because of the features. 
Traff's performances on here on a song like Stop Trying to Be God, 5% Tense, Astro Thunder, Coffee Bean is so good, Houston Fornication, Can't Say, you know, you got Sicko Mode, one of the biggest rap songs ever from Trav on here. Like, it was, man, Astro Road is amazing, bro. Such an amazing project with the features. Like, you have no choice but to put this in S tier. Like, I'm not going to lie. I'm going I'm to have to put it in S tier, and I'm not even being nice. Like, yo, some people's favorite rappers can't make an album like this. And your favorite rapper could be a better rapper than Trav. They just can't put together an album like this with such phenomenal production flows, raps. Like, it's crazy, bro, how good this dude Travis Scott is. Like, think about this. No, nothing but his debut project is in C tier. Nothing else. This dude has put out quality, quality throughout his career. Shout out Trav for putting out quality throughout his career, man. But last but certainly not least, we got Utopia. Trav's album that dropped in 2023. Man, Utopia is so fire. It's aging really well. Hyena, arguably Trav's best intro to an album. You got Thank God, My Eyes, God's Country, Modern Jam, I Know. <laughs> Till Further Notice, Telekinesis, Lost Forever, Schizo is so fire with Thugger, bro. Topia Twins is fire. Like, Meltdown with Drake, Sirens. Like, bro, why is it so many good songs on Utopia, man? I, if Utopia was shortened by maybe three or four songs... I would put it in S, but just because of that, I'm going to put it in A in front of Days Before Rodeo. But I'm like, if this was shortened just a little bit to like 14 or 13 songs, this could have been Trav's best album because of the highs on it. Like Trav has some of, arguably some of his best rapping performances ever on Utopia, on a My Eyes, I Know, God's Country. Man, not to even mention... um. Modern Jam featuring Tizo. That song is such a bop. That's my favorite song off of there for sure, for sure. But yes, man. So this is the tier list, man. In S tier, we got Rodeo, Astro World. A tier, we got Utopia, Days Before Rodeo, and Birds in the Trap. B tier, we got Huncho, Jack Honcho, Huncho, Jack, Jack Honcho, also Jack Boys. And in C tier, we got Al Faro, man. Trav has one of the best discographies in rap history. Let's not ever try to discredit or take that away from him. Like, this dude's discography is going under the radar, I feel like. I think it's also because people don't consider him elite lyricist. Like, if an elite lyricist had this discography, they might be the GOAT. That's how good this discography is. Like, man, let me know what y'all thinking down below about this tier list, man. Let me know if I did good, man. I think I killed it. I think I really killed it. I'm not going to lie. I think I did go with this tier list. But also, there's just more to come for Trav, I feel like, in the future of his career, man. But um, let me know what y'all think about that down below, man. Y'all hit that like and sub button. And join the fam. We on the road to 10K. And we almost there. And we grinding that day, man. I'm going to see y'all next video.